The Fibonacci sequence can be found occurring naturally in a wide array of elements in our environment from the number of petals on a rose flower to the spirals on a pine cone to the spines on a head of lettuce and more. The Fibonacci sequence can be found in artistic renderings of nature to develop aesthetically pleasing and realistic artistic creations such as in sculptures, paintings, landscape, building design, and more. It is the sequence of numbers beginning with one comma one and each subsequent term is the sum of the previous two terms in the sequence. Here we have the Fibonacci sequence. Notice one plus one is two, one plus two is three, two plus three is five, three plus five is eight, five plus eight is 13, eight plus 13 is 21, and so on. The petal counts on some flowers are represented in the Fibonacci sequence. For example, a daisy found growing wild typically contains 13, 21, or 34 petals, and it is noted that these numbers are part of the Fibonacci sequence. The number of petals aligns with the spirals in the flower family. So once again, if we take a common flower, which I've shown on the right, and we count the number of petals, more often than not, the number of petals will be in the Fibonacci sequence. Here are some common flowers and the number of petals. Buttercups have five petals. Lilies and iris have three petals. Some delphiniums have eight. Corn marigolds have 13 petals. Some asters have 21, whereas daisies can be found with 34, 55, or even 89 petals, all of which can be found in the Fibonacci sequence. I put this to the test. I put this to the test by going into my backyard and took a picture of this hibiscus plant and notice the flower does have one, two, three, four, five petals, which is in the Fibonacci sequence. I hope you'll take the time to go find some flowers, count the number of petals, and see if the number of petals is in the Fibonacci sequence. Thank you for watching.